Welcome back to Slice of Life San Ramon. Leading a city is not an easy task, but putting in his all for the city of San Ramon is exactly what Mayor Abram Wilson does every day. He started as an elected city council member in 1999 and has continued to serve the city he loves. But who is Mayor Wilson? Anna Kakaraki sat down with the mayor to learn about his life and how his decisions and experiences have made him who he is today. I've been mayor of San Ramon for the last seven years. We're going on my eighth year. When Abram Wilson and his family moved to San Ramon 31 years ago, he had no idea he would one day become the city's first elected mayor. Leading a city that's quickly grown to what it is today definitely keeps him on his toes. A typical day, I really would understand what is a typical day. There's nothing typical about being mayor. You, you have a schedule every day and anything can happen. Being mayor is a full-time job and I think you put, you get what into it what you get. It's a challenge every day and I'm very, very fortunate and blessed that I can do this. And I'm very fortunate that I was able to retire from banking. 35 years of working in banking taught him how to deal with finances. He worked as Wells Fargo's vice president federal funds trader, then 15 years later joined Bank of America as principal and senior account executive. One thing that that taught me is that your word is your bond and you treat people like you want to be treated. And it gave me a chance to understand the flow of money. The old bank cared, they knew. And those are some of the traits that I brought um, to as being mayor because we run this like a business, with a heart, and an understanding of that. And that's what I've gained and reaped from being a banker. Many experiences have helped shape Mayor Wilson as a leader, starting with growing up in Philadelphia, where he learned the importance of education from two teachers, his parents. My parents taught in the inner city, and my parents would a lot of times bring children home that did not have stable homes and, and talk to them about basic matters, how to write um, you know, a check, um, how to tie a tie. They understood education gives you freedom. Education allows you to dream. Education allows you um, not to be a victim. And I think that is the most important thing that allows you to dream that you can be whatever you want to be. He's also been a strong advocate of music in schools. In 2005, the National Music Educators Association awarded him the State Legislator of the Year Award for his support of music education, a passion close to his heart. At one time, I was an opera singer, and uh, music has always been a part of my life. I've always sung. When I came to San Ramon, friends came from the city, and we were doing the Sing Along Messiah, and they came here, and they said they, they needed a, um, a tenor. And because of that, I joined the San Ramon Arts Council. That led to the Parks Commission, and that led to the City Council, and that led to me being mayor. Music has played an integral part of my life, because if I hadn't uh, made that step to um, share my voice with um, the residents of San Ramon, I would not be mayor, so I, I thank them. Another pivotal point in his life was when he served in the U.S. Army. I was in the Medical Corps, and I think that's, that's um, it's imperative that one gives back to their country. When Mike Conklin came to me with the idea of Sentinels of Freedom and taking care of wounded warriors coming back, I said, wow, this is my opportunity to give back and to be um, a staunch supporter of those in our armed forces. And it's not that we're talking about whether you pro or con the war. When they come home, we should support them and embrace them because they are Americans. There's a reason for everything, a reason for every season. There was a reason why I was drafted. There was a reason for my music. There was a reason for uh, being a banker. The biggest thing that I am so proud of of being a husband and a father. And all of those have helped me and my wife to raise um, two beautiful, outstanding children. And it's all coming together. And that's what I want for all the residents of San Ramon, a quality of life that they can, they can raise their children in safety and, and enjoy life. Each experience has brought him to this point and has made him the mayor and man he is today. I, I love to interact with, um, with those who I work with and for. I think they need to know their public servants and that's what we are. We work for them, so insight. I love to, when people come up to me in um, Safeway and say hello or I'm walking through the park. 
I love doing the, um, the school tours and coming in and talking to the children. Uh, that's really exciting. <laughs> and the fact that I have an outstanding council and a staff that I can't say thank you because you don't do this alone. You do it with people who care. So I've been very blessed to, to be mayor of um, a city who has given me the opportunity to go back to the mayor's conference and brag about what a great city that I have the honor of um, helping to lead. When we come back, we'll learn about the many names of San Ramon and why you could have been living in Limerick.